Hi guys, it's Lisa and I'm back with this fresh and rosy spring makeup tutorial so if you want to see how they get this look then just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. So I'm just starting by brushing my brows, this is especially important if you have thick brows like I do and then I'm just filling in any gaps using a light brown powder and I'm also extending the tail of my brow, this is something I've been doing lately, it just gives you a bit of extra structure. And then after priming the lids, I'm just dabbing this slightly shimmery rosy shade all over the mobile lid and I'm using my fingers for this because you don't always need to have the best brushes to create beautiful looks so I just wanted to show that. Next, I'm just dabbing this dark brown shade into the outer corners. It's going to make it look like you put some effort into this look even though you really did. Sometimes liner can look a bit harsh so instead of using a pencil, I'm using the soft black eyeshadow and just pressing that as close to my upper lash line as I can and it's going to give you a soft and shaded look. This look is all about lashes, so I'm just curling mine and applying lots and lots and lots of mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It is my absolute favorite and I'm applying it to the top lashes and the bottom lashes. Now, if you're one of those people like myself that can't live without tight lining but doesn't want to look too much for the daytime, a good idea would be to switch out your black pencil for dark brown, so that's what I've done here. Moving on to the skin, I'm using this Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and as you can tell it's really good for bringing out the pink tones in your skin which is perfect for this rosy look. For foundation, I've actually mixed two different foundations. One is pink toned and one is yellow toned and I'll leave the names of those products down in the description bar. And this is a really good thing to do if you have more of a neutral skin tone like myself. And yeah, so I've just mixed those two together. It's going to give you a perfect shade which is not too yellow and not too pink. And then I'm just blending that in using my damp beauty blender. For blush, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm just taking my two fingers and I'm dabbing this peach colored matte blush onto the tops of my cheeks and onto the bridge of my nose. I know it looks really strange, but it's worth trying because the effect is super fresh and cute. And then I'm just blending it out with a blush brush and a little bit of pale pink just to make sure that it looks a little bit more blended. Give it a try and see what you think. For the lips, I'm using this rose colored lip pencil by Estee Lauder and I am slightly overlining my lips. But the way I'm doing this is I'm just rounding out my cupid's bow because if I was to trace it exactly, it'd be a bit pointy and I want my lips to look a bit rounder for this. So that is what I'm doing and then I'm just using my finger to sort of blot the color all over the top and the bottom. Now, since I want to customize this color and make it a bit more spring appropriate, the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking this bright pink lipstick and just dabbing that all over my lips and using my finger, I'm going to blot it out once more. Then I'm actually going in with a cream blush, which is matte, it's more pinky, and I'm just following that same process once more. And that completes this spring makeup tutorial, super fresh and super easy, and I hope you guys really liked it, and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!